Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today on this mail day. We have one package that came from across the pond. So excited to see what is inside. Today normally would have been a flea market day, but it is expecting, we are expecting to get rain in the afternoon. And it doesn't matter that there are how many hours beforehand. <laughs> If there is a chance of rain, then my flea market where the tote man goes, pretty much only a handful of people show up. And I knew beforehand that the tote man was not going to be there. So I thought, you know what, I can maybe sleep in a little, get some other stuff done, and we can record this mail day. It is one package from our friend Uva out in Germany. And for some reason, I thought I had opened this before because I have all of their packages kind of together and it was with the ones that I had opened and I looked at it and I'm like, wait, I didn't, I didn't open this one. So my apologies Uva, for not opening it. Um, you should have reminded me in the comments though you may have, and I may not have seen it or I probably forgot. <laughs> My brain, much like when I do my research, has a lot of rabbit holes in it and uh, it's, it's, it can be overwhelming at times. But yes, yeah, so we have this package from Germany. Excited to see what we have inside. Now I want us to do just a little aside. I will probably make a community post about this as well. Um, but for those that don't watch mail videos, that's what the community post is for. Now those in Europe, and overseas this might not apply to you but for those in America it surely surely does so we are gearing up towards an election and I'm sure many of you have seen already as I have when I watch YouTube uh, political ads now as a content creator I have no control I don't, any other content creator on YouTube does not. We have no control over the content and type of ads that you see. So if you are receiving political ads for a person that you do not like, I can't control that. Um, a while ago, I had someone comment that they were getting ads for some product and they were offended by this product. And so they said that they would no longer be watching my channel because I put that ad in there. And so I had to just tell them, I, I, I didn't put that ad in there. I have no control over the type of ads that you see. I have no control over the length of the ads. Uh, what content creators do have control over is to a point how many ads YouTube now they have a thing where they um, suggest where to put ads uh, how frequent to put ads and they'll insert them for you so um, you know we have some control over that but as for the content and the type of ads nope so please do not come at me <laughs> Please do not threaten unsubscribing or never watching again uh, because you see an ad for a, a political person or a political party that you do not like. So just putting that out there. Uh, maybe some of you have the YouTube TV where you don't even see the ads. So you are living, living the life there. <laughs> but that was just a little aside. I just wanted to uh, state that. And again, I'll probably make some type of community post because it's just going to get, as we get closer to uh, November here, uh, the ads are probably gonna be more and more and more. So just a little reminder, but enough talk about politics. Let's get to the mail. So this package is from our friend Uva in uh, Deutschland and I opened it up and I did not see a card. So maybe it's somewhere, somewhere out there, like Feifel says, uh, but Uva has sent many, many interesting things, some wonderful historical items that just, it, it's, it's crazy how you find these. Um, no Gutenberg, but that's okay. 
because if you were to ever find a Gutenberg, <laughs> I'd expect to see your name in the newspapers. Uh, speaking of newspapers, we have some German papers. This is a bingo, a bingo. Ooh, one million euro? How do you play this? Bingo, scratching bingo, that's funny. So on the little uh, mailing label, it did state what is inside. So I have somewhat of an idea. Um, this is this, wow. Uh, greetings from Oktoberfest. That's nice. It's from the year 2000, uh, the Munich Oktoberfest. Wouldn't that be great to go there for that? And then we have some paper inside to keep it all nice and sturdy, but what a great little label. Now, Bethlehem, we just had, well, Bethlehem, the town of Bethlehem in Pennsylvania just had Music Fest, and they do, I believe, have some type of Oktoberfest. They also have the um, uh, Chris Kindle Mart, where there's tents, and it, it is like Munich's uh, Christmas market, essentially. And put that over my little pan. Very sturdy. Now, <laughs> you can tell the difference between that one and like our American steins for sure. I can catch up on my German paper. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? Oh my gosh. There's I know your 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 card's probably in here somewhere. Maybe we should wait. Ooh. September 1955, letter inside. See, I knew we would find it. All wrapped up safely and securely. Uh, Dearest Renee, if the pilgrim doesn't come to the mountain, the mountain shall come to the pilgrim. So today I am I've enclosed some neat Munich stuff, uh, which I found during the past couple of months. Yes, Munich. I will get there. I will get there. And my first stop will be the little cafe to get some apple strudel because I know exactly where it is. <laughs> uh, a photo album of, ooh, of a member of the Munich High Society, uh, married in 1955. They married a, uh, into a Bavarian nobility name, but a very a young one. I think it's Heidi. And then they, uh, it has, a, Heidi is a von Vo Vogel, I think, uh, which is quite a common name. And then they have, uh, I assume that her uh, first husband, von Fallhan, probably, that's probably not right, but I'll figure it out, uh, divorced or was killed during the war. So this album contains so much spirit of the 1950s and also tons of data making it very easy for further research. Her second husband, oh, he was a journalist, and a journalist by the way. How interesting. So yes, I think the spirit of the 1950s. Uh, Germany's coming out of World War II. Let's see, an album from Munich, probably around 1895. Oh my gosh. There's also a, a bunch of little uh, collectible pictures uh, from the late, I think it's 19th century. And then they state, I'm not a special, specialist on these. Uh, they just know that some of them are very expensive, so it's up to you to do research. Hope you enjoy this little lot and see you in the next one. Always interesting to see what you have sent. Look at the coloring on these. Leavings Fleisch Extract. I have photos of Pompeii. Well, okay, here we go. Yeah, Liebig. Oh, it's Liebig. So these are similar to like our advertising bladders. So yes, yeah, so you have the front, which kind of draws you in. And then you have the back. 
which tells you all about what you're taking and what you can use it for. There's lots of them. Just how in great condition they are after all these years. You can see how wonderful. But yes, the artwork is, and again, you think these are little advertising cards and blotters and they put so much effort and time into producing them. I wonder how much they cost back then uh, to print. Because if we think of today with even just printing um, the photo albums and things like that, they can get costly. So there's more. Wow. I mean, handling them, honestly, you think they had rolled off the printing press yesterday. They have a nice quality to the paper. There's one with the elephant. And again, just great pieces of ephemera. And I think that they survived many, many, many years. Love this girl's outfit. She has all the vases or the urns. I assume if we were to find these in America, like most of the blotters that I find, they're a little tattered, a little torn, maybe some mold or mildew on them. <laughs> but occasionally you do come across a nice album and it's full and they're in great shape. But these definitely take the cake in regards to just how nice they are. Oh, how nice. These remind me of something that someone would buy as a souvenir. Marion Platts. but they, they fold out Frau and Kirka. Oh, so <laughs> this is Feldhorn Hollow that has quite the history of it. I'm sure many of you would recognize it. It has the big lion statues out front but down, down that little street, down that street is where the cafe with the apple strudel is. <laughs> I, I, when I was in Munich, I loved to just sit at Feldherrnhalle and watch the people. I think I got my strudel, my tea, and I sat on the steps and just watched. And it was great. I like to do a lot of people watching when I travel. It's the same with Yellowstone, pretty much. Wow, this brings me back. The National Museum. This is a great, great album. But you can see, oh, there's the Hofbrau House. Oh my gosh, oh, it makes me sad. Lowenbrow Keller, oh my goodness. So yes, it, it all folds out. I wish I'll keep it all tidy in there. What a great, great album. My heart hurts now. I need, I need to go. I need to go there. <laughs> Here we have some more. Uh, the, there are 15 little photographs of Munich. You see the style so often and you almost wish that they would bring these back at places, but a lot of places, you know, parks, Yellowstone, other travel sites, they still have postcards, but just not, I think, to the, the quantity and variety like they used to, because this was so easy and convenient to bring back to, some, to someone or to save for yourself. Right now, I've, on my last few trips, and when I go places, I always try to remind myself to get a patch uh, so that I can put it on my one book bag that I have it's the book bag that I've used since my first trip to Europe in 2001. That, that bag has seen me through, I think all of my trips, all of my journeys. And so now I'm uh, decorating it with patches. 
Let's look at the other sign, shall we? Another great one. They have all the beer on the horses. Oh man, Oktoberfest. I remember when I went to uh, the Hofbrau House in Munich and I just started randomly talking to the people that were sitting there and then the group that I, I was with the one time, we got up and we danced. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. You get the, the big glass of beer. I mean, it's, it's big. It is big. It's such a great time. Hey, look, there is a uh, catalog or an advertisement for Lidl, and we have that here. I got the chocolate croissant there a few weeks ago, and oh my gosh, it was so good. I know this wasn't on your list, but I like seeing what, what you have over there. And then I get sad because I want it. Wow, your needle sells uh, lawn equipment? What? Ours does not. They sell a variety, they even sell lawn mowers there? Yours is high class, let me tell you. Okay, I must stop looking at the catalog. <laughs> so here is the High Society of the 1950s album. Interesting format. Almost reminds you of a ledger. <laughs> oh, I love it. The card. Congratulations. There they are. Ah, great album with those spider web middle sheets. Hedwig, that's one of the names. They're drinking, having fun, celebrating. A telegram from uh, Hamburg. Just looking at the artwork on, you probably won't, whoops, won't be able to see, but there's so much interesting artwork even on the walls. They cut out very interesting little bits of paper from magazines and cards. Love it. See, look, they put, they even put postcards in, in their little album. Oh, she used napkins, Christmas napkins in the back. Again, more, all those books. Wow, the trees. You can see the little napkins. She was like a great scrapbook maker, essentially. Great shot there. How oh, interesting. Just a, a really well put together album. She definitely took her time doing it and probably was very proud of this. And now I get to, to delve in and learn more about these people and travel to Munich via this little album. Oh, I miss it. I miss it. Thank you so much, Uva, for everything that you have sent me, for the history that you so kindly uh, send my way and I hope that I can do it all justice as I like to say so much to research so much to research and now I'm thinking about Munich and how I need I need to get back there I need to get back there for more than just the apple strudel <laughs> but thank you again thank you uh, to all of you for watching I hope that you enjoy the mail day videos a nice more a nicer relaxing pace than perhaps my storage unit videos where I find some crazy things if you didn't see the last storage video make sure that you go and watch that because that was a big a big surprise not a good one but a surprise nonetheless uh, but thank you all for watching and I hope that you all have a great uh, upcoming week we are getting to the end of August uh, school is starting for kids and we are heading into fall and I'm excited I, I do enjoy fall I love that crisp feeling in the air, all the pumpkin bacons you could want, and I think the promises 
and the adventures that fall can bring. So thank you uh, again for watching. Hope you enjoy this and I will see you all for the next adventure, whenever that may be here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.